Do you travel with a tow, you know, a vehicle you tow behind your motorhome? Today I'm installing an UltraGuard tow guard on the back of our RV to protect our tow vehicle from rock, oil, and other road debris. Check it out on this episode of Roaming with Rosie. So hey Romers, it's Jamie back at you again. And what we got going today is we're gonna be putting an Ultra Guard on the back of Rosie. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is to kind of protect the front of the uh, our tow vehicle. So I'm gonna show you here what we got. Uh, we ordered it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Here's what we got. We got the heavy duty Ultra Guard. Um, we're gonna be mounting that on the back of Rosie. It comes with everything, nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff but it does not come with the uh, angle, the piece of metal angle that uh, mounts on the back of the RV. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do there. But that's what we got going today. We're gonna be installing this. And that way, the front of the tow vehicle will be protected. We won't be getting a bunch of junk flying off the tires and hitting the front of the car, so. Here's everything that comes in the box. So you got the Ultra Guard itself. And that's, uh, I uh, just measured it, it's 93 and 3 quarters, so that's how long that is. And then um, they give you the mounting bolts, and then they give you these metal strips that basically uh, go on the bottom of the Ultra Guard, and then the reflectors go on top of those. Um, I'll kind of show you how these things go. They have these little slots in here, and these. Uh, these deals just sit right in there like that. So they sit in that little pocket right there. Your reflector goes on top of that like that. They also send you uh, the mounting instructions. So they kind of tell you exactly how to do everything. It seems kind of self-explanatory when you actually look at it. But it's a good thing that they give you these just in case. I ended up having to notch the Ultra Guard so that it would uh, uh, fit up underneath where my hitch is. Um, so I had to notch that out about two inches. And uh, it says on the paper you can cut it with a utility knife. That wasn't working. Um, basically what I ended up doing is I ended up using my circular saw. Um, if you do do that, it's one thing you're going to be want to be really careful because once the circular saw gets in there, it kind of wants a bite and it wants to kind of maybe jerk the saw back towards you. So you really need to pay attention to what you're doing if you do that. Um, I did try it with a Dremel and the Dremel uh, cut it a little easier than the saw did, um, but the Dremel would have taken forever. Um, so um, I opted to go with the circular saw. Managed to get it done, so now we, what we need to do is put it up there, get it mounted, and we can start drilling some holes. So what I did for the mount was I purchased this 8-foot piece of aluminum angle. And uh, I also purchased these U-bolts. And the U-bolts basically just go over top of the hitch and hold the angle on there. What I did was I drilled a, I drilled a half inch hole here. And the reason I did half inch is so that I could get around this corner here. Um, if I drilled it the same size as what that uh, the U-bolt is, I wouldn't have been able to get it around that. So I got that side mounted over there. I'm going to show you how I'm how I'm mounting mounting that up. These U-bolts right here, and I had to notch the the Ultra Guard here to accommodate that. I want this edge of the Ultra Guard to sit flush with the top of this um, angle. So I'm going to show you how I uh, um, I drill the hole and then uh, go ahead and put my uh, bolt in there. So I'll show you how that works. What I did was I used this uh, paver here to basically hold the Ultra Guard in place so I can uh, drill my hole and then I'll be able to put the bolt through there and that should hold it up. 
So we're going to go ahead and get that drilled and then uh, pop a bolt in there and then continue on. So you want your uh, washer on the outside and then the nut has the uh, the nut has the little uh, serrations on the back to keep it from backing off when you're driving on down the road. And you just want to take a 7 16 wrench and uh, tighten that up. So that one's in. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier now because I have that holding the rest of it up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put the two bolts here and then I got a couple to put in the center. So now that I have this side done and also the other side done, I need to do the middle um, where I cut so I could uh, to accommodate my hitch. Um, it looks like the bolts are spaced out 12 inches apart. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure over 12 inches, drill a hole, and then add another bolt. Um, looks like I'm going to need three more. So that just sits in that little pocket that they already have cut out for you. And as you can see, there's a couple of holes. There's one here and one over there. So we just want to go ahead and drill, drill a hole through there. And they give you these uh, bolts and they have the uh, nut with the neoprene on it so it won't uh, it's like a lock nut it won't come out on you
Okay, and then that's all mounted. And then I'm gonna go get the reflector. And we'll put that on there. So once you get that, that chrome piece mounted on, you put the reflective sticker on there, and that's basically what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll see what it looks like all completed. Okay, so we got it all mounted up, uh, both of the metal pieces with the reflectors are on, and it's all set. The only thing, the other thing I want to do, and that's just me because how I am, uh, this piece of aluminum that's sticking out right here, I'm probably going to cut that off. Um, I don't like it sticking out. So I'm probably going to cut that off. But other than that, it's all set. I think it looks really nice. And it's really going to help with uh, keeping the front of the tow vehicle um, cleaner. And also not having any rocks and things like that hitting the front of the car. So that's going to really help out a lot. I hope that this was helpful to you. It was exactly what we needed to protect our toad's front end from rocks, oil, and other road debris. Your installation may vary depending on the underside of your motorhome. Down in the video's description, you'll find links to UltraGuard on Amazon, where you can choose the right size and type for your RV or truck. We do earn a small commission on many of those links, and if we find any discounts, we always pass on those discounts to you. Once again, I appreciate you choosing Roman with Rosie for your RV life how-tos. And I'd really love it if you'd hit that thumbs up button and please share this channel with your friends and family. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified each time we upload a new video and make sure to leave a comment. That way you can be part of the conversation. Until next time, we'll see you.